Hello, my name is Tony Hauser. I'm a product engineer at the business analyst team here at ESRI. Today I'm going to show you how we can use our developer documentation code samples to quickly learn about and use the business analyst online Silverlight API. And the great thing about these examples is they're complete Visual Studio 2008 solutions. So they run right after you download them. So let's get started with the demonstration here. Um, this is Silverlight Application 7. After you download it, this is Silverlight Application 7. It is a drive time workflow. Uh, when you click on the map, it uh, captures the coordinates. Um, and then it sends the coordinates to the Business Analyst Online API, a drive time uh, web service, and it creates a trade area of your specifications. And in this case, it's a five mile drive distance area. And at the same time, we have it set to generate a summary report, a demographic and income report that describes the underlying data, in this case, the de business and demographic data and marketing data of the area covered by the five mile drive distance. But before we can run this uh, example, there are a few prerequisites with Silverlight development. You can't just fire up Visual Studio 2008 and have Silverlight support in it. You actually have to install a few prerequisites. And the best way to do that is to go to the uh, core ArcGIS API for Silverlight site. The URL is given there at the bottom. Please pause the video if you need to copy that down. And there, at the installation page, they describe how uh, the steps necessary to get up and running and what you need to download, most notably Visual Studio 2008 and Silverlight 3 tools for Visual Studio 2008 SP1. And the, again, Visual Studio 2008 SP1 is required. And there's also an official Microsoft site, getting started site, that you can go to. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to download and run the developer documentation code examples. Uh, you can go to the resource center and then you need to go to the business analyst resource center and then click on the business analyst online API link. And then in the getting started section, uh, click on the sample Visual Studio 2008 solutions and code example link to get to the code gallery and download a zip file which contains all of the um, developer documentation code examples as complete Visual Studio 2008 samples. And in our case, um, as I mentioned earlier, it is Silverlight Application 7, but you can double check that in the readme.html file, which describes every single sample and every the workflow, the main, and these are all uh, very common tasks for a business analyst and it also covers every class or object that's uh, covered in the uh, example the example solution so go ahead and open the silverlight application solution then right click on silverlight application 7 test page html and there you have it you're up and running with absolutely no code now you might want to edit the code but let's look at the code here second um, here we have the main page.xaml.cs and here we have the main page.xaml. XAML stands for uh, ex Extensible Application Markup Language. Um, it is similar to um, MXML in the Adobe Flex world. And the XAML code describes basically the declarative language for describing the UI. And the C-sharp code behind is uh, generally used to describe the logic of the application. Now we're going to make some sample code changes here. Um, we're going to change that uh, report template from the demographic and income report to the market profile report. And this is all taking place in the main page.xaml.cs code behind the file. So you can see right there again, uh, pause the video if you need some help. And we're going to also add a couple more drive distance rings here. Incidentally, drive times are also allowed, but that's not covered in this example. So we'll have uh, drive distance rings of 5 mile, 7 mile, and 10 mile, and then we'll click 
the uh, the bug button to save and compile the application and there we have it it is now running and we're gonna click on the map it's gonna look up the address and give us the address and send the uh, lat long coordinates to the business analyst online API and there's your three rings five mile seven mile ten mile and there is our market profile report of the three ring drive distance ring trade areas so there you have it just a few lines of code and we leverage the uh, business analyst online api and the business analyst online silverlight api made that happen very rapidly with our visual studio 2008 examples